Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we have a Universal Studios Florida update. Actually, it's a kind of a two-parter. So today, we're doing Universal Studios Florida, or Saturday, we'll be doing another Epic Universe update, because that last one was very popular, so thank you so much for watching. And again, thank you to Bio Reconstruct for the, all these fantastic photos, and glad you're feeling better, and if you follow him on Twitter, but he's... Uh, kind of in and out of the hospital, but I'm glad he's all better and ready to go. So that's awesome. And yeah, right now we're still focusing on a couple of projects on a uni in Universal Studios Florida. Not as exciting as, of course, Epic Universe, but something to hold the tide over because, of course, got invested in all the Universal parks, not just Epic Universe. So let's get started. So earlier this year, Universal closed the whole kids zone area, including the Woody Woodpecker roller coaster, as well as um, the Fivel's play area. And all the associated segments of the area. There's a couple things that remain open. Like the Spongebob Squarepants store and E.T. But this is what the, ki the kids zone area looks like. Now you see the, the, they're preserving the roller coaster. Which is basically kind of like a carbon copy. Almost carbon copy of Gadget's Go Coaster in Toontown. They're pres preserving that coaster. Rumored to be rethemed to Trolls. And the whole area is completely demolished. And looks very very clean. Before the closure, this area, all throughout last summer of 2022, was kind of being tested as a uh, test as a DreamWorks area. They had a whole DreamWorks meet and greet, and all the characters it was called DreamWorks Destinations, and that was clearly it seemed like a test to see to see what how popular it was and if they can go forward with the whole retheming. And obviously, it was very popular popular enough that a, the green, the DreamWorks project got greenlit. Now we have a whole clearing of the area. And you'll see on the construction walls in the uh, University of Florida, they have DreamWorks characters posted. Soon with this whole area will become a DreamWorks area with, again, the coaster rethemed to Trolls with the surrounding Trolls area, maybe like a, a playground. And you'll have different DreamWorks characters with a brand new play, playground and even a rumored Shrek Dark Ride. Uh, not sure the extent of those, but very, very curious. This area will reopen, I believe, in 2024. Summer 2024 is what's looking like right now, which makes sense because it's 2023 and it's kind of leveled. So a year should be good for this. And it looks, again, absolutely fantastic. This area, they called it a curse, uh, the kids' own curse, because there's multiple areas multiple things proposed for this area including super nintendo world and then pokemon and none of them ever came to fruition and finally finally kid zone got demolished for something next up we're moving to the project that's going to open up this summer in 2023 and that is minions cafe and villain con right now we're looking at the minions cafe attraction you can see the or not attraction it's a restaurant but where that yellow arrow is that's actually the transformers extended key it's a very busy spring break time at universal studios florida and also here in hollywood so be mindful of that but this is the former's monsters cafe which hopefully an homage will appear in the classic monsters ant land now named dark universe and epic universe we'll talk about that in tomorrow's update but now this is being transformed to a minions cafe a minion cafe just like the one we have here in universal studios hollywood it'll be obviously much bigger than ours because the available space is bigger but you can expect the same type of stuff food um the minion sippers and all that good stuff next to will be the minions villain con, villain con attraction which can't really see any construction progress on because it's just retheming or repurposing the shrek 4d building but that'll be a moving walkway attraction so it'll be an interactive shooter you'll uh, get to play these mini games as you move along a moving walkway, as you try to be recruited into the Vicious Six, uh, which if you've seen Minions Rise of Gru, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but that is just basically like a villain group that Gru wants to get into. Zooming by quickly to our next area, you can see Universal is clearly working on a couple snack stands, doing some refurbs of um, some ODV carts, or one of them actually looks like a permanent snack stand. One of them looks to be completely gone, so maybe they're just com they just took it away, and they're completely renovating it, and they'll be back, which is nice. Nice to see Universal working on the small things as well as the big things. And our last stop here is the Simpsons area. We've talked a lot about this here about ho in Hollywood. You can check out my channel on if Springfield is leaving our particular park in Universal Hollywood pretty soon. 
or soon sooner than you think i'll link that to the top of this video but yeah here in florida it looks to be safe for now on because they are doing some refurbishments on it they are have some walls up and they're continuously working on the pavement to the front of the simpsons ride the simpsons ride is similar about or exactly the same as the one here in hollywood they're swing for those a little bit bigger they have uh, an initial flat ride theme to the alien from the simpsons which is cool so yeah looks like that is it for all the projects going on at universal studios florida it's awesome that universal is giving this park some love because obviously they have islands of adventure and a brand new theme park they're working on but gotta give some love to the og to keep get, get people to keep coming back so what do you guys think of the new villain con attraction opening in summer 2023 the new minion cafe and the new dreamworks area rumored to open in summer 2024 let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. Follow at BioReconstruct on Twitter for awesome theme park updates. And have a very minion day.